Hello Virgo, welcome to your mid-September reading. Thank you for joining me. Doing something a little bit different for the mid-months. I'm going to be doing the uh, general reading here on YouTube and the love and relationships reading on my Vimeo channel. So the link for that is below in the descriptions box if you're interested. Now that's going to be a, another a 40 to 45 minute reading for you uh, Virgo. So please go check that out after this reading. Now, for your, uh, for your energy here from the oracles for mid-month September, you have the Ace of Wands or the card of new vitality from the Psychic Heart Oracle. And from a Shadows of Light Oracle, you've pulled Lady with a Bosch Egg. This speaks of ancient wisdom. So it, it's, it is about gaining wisdom, of course, but it, it's more about... I feel it's a spiritual knowledge, uh, that deep inner knowing, wisdom, and it seems to be around revitalization. There's great potential in this card, because with an ace it's also about potential, opportunity. So it's about seizing this kind of energy. And it's also about warmth and enthusiasm when it comes to relationships, fun with other people, and uh, lifting your energy and spirits. So, so let's see where this goes, because I get that there is wisdom uh, uh, around something that has sparked that interest, uh, that uh, enthusiasm within you here, Virgo. Now I'm going to, I've already meditated on your energy, so I'm going to cut the cards here, Virgo. And uh, let's see what we have for you for mid-month September to the end of uh, September 2018. Now everything is going to radiate out from the center of this reading. So we'll see what your energy is here overall, Virgo. Okay, Knight of Swords in Reverse. So there is indecision around taking some kind of action. You're not sure what you want to do. You're in two minds. There is a risk of, of, of hasty action as well around this. So we'll see where this goes for you. Now you have the Four of Wands in reverse. So there, there has been an unhealthy or an unhappy kind of home there's been a, a block to achieving that uh, that happiness within the home. And with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, there's an element here... It, 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 it speaks to me about fear of loss. There's some insecurity around losing. It's something that has been slow to uh, to take off or, or slow to start earning rewards because I, I get Virgo it, it's something that you've put a lot of effort into but you, you're still waiting you've been waiting a long time to for it to pay off and now that there seems to be an element here of you're wondering if it's worth worth putting any more effort into. It seems to be a, a, around an unhappy uh, situation here. I pick it up as a home, but it doesn't have to be because this is a general reading. It could just be anywhere where you're feeling a, a, a lack of uh, contentment. Now you also have the, the lovers in reverse and the king of pentacles. Now I feel that that's you Virgo. It can be male or female. It seems to be separation from uh, someone here. It could be, it doesn't have to be a, a love partnership, it could be a friend, a family member. There is a physical separation. And I feel like you, you may be indecisive about what to do around this, this separation. It may be with a, uh, a Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah, the Six of Cups in reverse. It, it seems to be a, a past situation, one where you, you feel a sense of loss. 
it may be something that you are wanting to return to here but I do get an energy here of, of unhappiness around the situation and that there may be a need to, to let go of this attachment and we also have the Empress here the Eight of Wands and the Four of Swords in reverse so it is around a, uh, a partnership the Knight of, the, sorry, the King of Pentacles and, and the Empress speak to me about there could be a commitment here, a partnership, and again, it doesn't have to be romantic. But the the energy I pick up here is that it, it is something that is has been long standing, and there has been a, a lot of effort put into to making this partnership work. But now there seems to be some indecision around this now with the eight of wands here i get this as communication and it's quite fast communication it may be coming in from someone from the past this past situation which you may have felt was over because I do get it as a separation here and now that it's coming in you're unsure about what to do about this because I think you may already be in a, a, a partnership here with someone else and I also get around this communication that uh, there is a fear of uh, losing some security Now with this Four of Swords in reverse, what I get for you, Virgo, is that, that it is something from the past where there has been a break. But now this person seems to want to come back around. Maybe because they, they have gone through a, 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 an unhappy situation and they are wanting to return to, to you. But I get an energy here of incompatibility around this other person. And there, there being a reason why this hasn't worked out in the past and why it, there was a letting go, a release. But it seems to me that this person now wants to come back around, but you're very indecisive, Virgo, about what to do. There is a risk here of losing something. This Empress energy seems to be an opportunity around you with this ace of uh, wands there's a, a lot of uh, passion a lot of enthusiasm around this uh, this opportunity coming in but uh, but I also get I also get an energy here of gaining wisdom over this So it's, it's an energy here of something that, that didn't work out in the past, but it, it seems to be coming back around, but, but now that you've gained greater wisdom, I feel that this is what is keeping you from taking any kind of action towards this communication that, it, that is coming in quite swiftly. So, so let's have a look. There, there may be some knowledge gained with this Ancient Wisdom card around this person, the incompatibility. Let's, uh, let's get some clarifiers here. We'll start off with that top row. Yep, the, the Ten of Swords in reverse. So it has been an ending in the past with this person, Virgo. Again, it doesn't have to be romantic, though obviously with the Lovers card there, it's, it, it's hard to ignore. There has been some pain, some past betrayal, but now I get an energy of coming through the other side of that, of learning from that and, and, and releasing it, moving on. We also have the, the page of pentacles. So there is something coming in here offering a, a new start, a, a clean slate, an offer with this page but it, it's starting from the ground up it's it's starting fresh 
there's an immaturity around this, something that is has yet to mature. And we also have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So it would involve, I feel, losing something or surrendering something that has potential to be prosperous, uh, long-term, uh, stable. Stable energy around these cards is what I'm picking up. But if, for me, what, what I get here, Virgo, is the opportunity is here, but you, you seem to have gained a higher wisdom, a higher level of knowing around this past relationship that hasn't worked out. And I feel it has to do with incompatibilities and the, the, the disharmony that was in the relationship previously that, that caused it to, uh, to end. It speaks to me of gaining wisdom over an ending and coming out the other side wiser. Now it also speaks about forgiveness as well. But I feel it's more about learning through experience and drawing on that inner wisdom, that higher wisdom that you, you have. I feel like you've done some work on yourself here, Virgo, after this, this past breakup. And now you may be seeing things from a higher level of knowledge. And now that this is coming back around again, I think you're seeing it for what it is. Although I do see temptation here as well to take advantage of this, uh, this new opportunity with this page. But it, again, it would involve you releasing or letting go of something that, uh, that does hold value. And it, it speaks to me of a, something that provides a mature relationship, uh, stability security so lots to think about here lots to clarify as well if this is resonating with you i'll be doing a, a much longer reading in the love and relationships portion and that will be in part two so please join me on my vimeo channel for that i'll be pulling out some uh, a new spread for that and focusing entirely on your love and relationships so uh, click on the link below that's on the in the descriptions box and that'll take you directly to to the, uh, pardon me, the uh, Vimeo channel. So I wish you all the best with this, um, Virgo. It's all about wise choices. And uh, if you would like to a personal reading, you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com. So bye for now, Virgo.